Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just like me, I'm sure a lot of you pre-ordered Ryzen or at least have been thinking about a Ryzen upgrade and there's a lot of associated costs with going to a new platform. For example, you're gonna have to have a motherboard, you're gonna have to have new RAM if you're like me coming from a DDR3 system and on top of that, if you're getting a top-of-the-line Ryzen chip, they don't even ship with a stock cooler, and I'm talking about the 1700X and the 1800X. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering right now whether your existing cooler will work with AM4, so that's what we're gonna look at today. Let's hop to it. Before we begin guys, I do want to throw this out there. All the links that I'm going to go over are going to be in the description down below to help you get where you need to go based on whatever cooler you already have in your system, especially for those of you that are here to get your uh, reserved AM4 bracket uh, set up and ready to go so they can get shipped out to you as quickly as possible. So to begin, I want to jump into this article from BitTech, and this was just an announcement that Noctua, Fantex, and Cryorg um, have announced that they uh, will be providing free AM4 upgrade kits. Um, I did not find the Fantex form if there is one and you know of it by the way link it down in a comment and I'll make sure that gets added uh, but I haven't found the Fantex form for that however and this is uh, applicable to me because I know a lot of you love um, Noctua coolers this is the form or the place that you can go on Noctua's website to get your uh, free upgrade kit. Now what you'll need to do is go to this web page and then there is a form linked right here and you'll click that and it will take you to the AM4 order form and what you'll need and, and I assume it's gonna be mostly like this for most places you need an invoice for your Noctua cooler hopefully you have that um, if you ordered online then it'll be saved in your orders so for those of you that bought it in store and threw that receipt away um, you're sort of out of luck there but I'll get to your your other solution here in a minute and then you'll need an invoice for the AM4 motherboard that you purchased. And by the way, an invoice for a pre-order does work. That's what I use to get my bracket ordered. And um, they accepted that. No problems. No uh, questions asked there. So if you have a pre-order with like Newegg or something, you can just uh, copy that invoice over and it should be good to go. You attach your um, mailing address and all that stuff and they'll get it right out to you. In fact, Noctua did a great job with mine. I sent this form in in the evening one day and the next day I got an email back from them saying that it was in the mail that day and I could expect it in about 10 business days. So we'll, we'll see how long the actual shipping time takes, but Noctua's at least is a fairly painless procedure, especially if you've already ordered online for all your parts. If you're one person that um, got rid of your invoice or your receipt or whatever the case may be for your Noctua cooler, then there are other solutions. On Amazon, there is mounting brackets that you can buy from Noctua, and they are about $8. They're just shy of $8, and these will be linked down below as well. You do have to pay attention because there's two different types of mounting brackets. There is one that fits with most of the coolers, and then the other one um, fits just the NHU-14S, the NHU-12S, and the NHU-9S. Um, and these ones are available for Amazon Prime and they'll ship out and get to you as soon as next day shipping in my case because I live near an Amazon plant. Unfortunately, the one that fits most coolers, it appears to be back ordered or just not in stock yet, but it will be available to uh, ship out on March 31st, which if you pre-ordered a uh, CPU, then maybe you'll want to pick up a stopgap CPU in the meantime or go a different route because that is going to take a little while. It does appear, though, that the uh, Noctua website has them in stock and ready to ship out. Next up is the Be Quiet, and it's sort of similar to Noctua in that you they have a form, again, linked down below, and you need a first name, your, full, your last name, um, your address, the product, and they need the AM4 motherboard invoice. So they don't actually need the invoice for the Be Quiet cooler. They just need the invoice for the motherboard, which makes it a lot simpler for pre-orders. You just grab that invoice and upload it there, and it should be good to go. I have no idea on ship times or anything like that. If you're a person that uses Be Quiet, 
and you do this process, then please go ahead and let me know down in the comments down below how long it takes them to get that shipped out to you because I am very curious. Then we have Cooler Master, which again, they are offering free upgrade kits for a lot of their coolers. They have this website set up or this part of their website set up. Some of their coolers already accept the clip mechanism for AM4, and that is because the AM4 socket is apparently backwards compatible with uh, coolers that use the clips. Um, with the AM3 Plus and FM2 Plus sockets. So some of the coolers for uh, Cooler Master already use that, and the blue dots are those coolers. So for example, if you're on the Hyper 212 LED Turbo, just one I pulled off the list, then you're already good to go. Um, and, and they have the triangles displayed to show us whether um, they are coming out with the AM4 upgrade kit. Some of them are already available, some of them are not. You can get the kits for free, and you have to pre-order those, except that shipping fees are applicable. So it looks like it's one of those deals where you will pay shipping. And that sort of makes sense, because Cooler Master is a little bit more budget than some of these other coolers. Like, the upper-end Noctua coolers are not cheap coolers. So it makes sense, with margins being a little bit smaller for some of these Cooler Master coolers, that they would charge you shipping, and that's the case here. Now, Corsair has a list of their popular water coolers. They're all in one water coolers. And some of them already have AM4 compatibility because they use that clip mechanism. Others will require a bracket or upgrade kit. And the list is displayed on screen now. And I'll link this web page that I found this. However, I will note that I haven't seen uh, where you can actually buy the Corsair or even get the free Corsair um, upgrade bracket for the coolers that are not currently supporting that system. So I'm not sure as of right now whether it is supported one way or the other or, or when that support is coming rather. Um, so here's the list of coolers. It doesn't really do you a whole lot of good if you're on Corsair right now. So if you're with a cooler that is not compatible with AM4, then for the moment, I guess you just need to sit tight and uh, look around because I wasn't able to find a whole lot on Corsair's water coolers, but maybe you'll have more luck. And lastly, at least the last of the ones that I have here that I've sort of aggregated is EK Water Blocks. And this is for the custom uh, water coolers in, in the audience and it looks like EK is offering an AM4 upgrade bracket for those of you that have already existing kits. Um, specifically, the EK Kit S, the EK Kit L, uh, the EK Kit P, and the EK Kit X. Now, if you are ordering a new water cooler, or new water block rather, um, EK offers you the option to pick AM4 as your bracket in the checkout anyways. So, no big deal there. You can just pick AM4 and you're good to go. If, however, you already have an EK water block and you don't have the AM4 um, upgrade uh, kit, they do have those available that you can order. Um, and it looks like EK may be um, going for getting shipping from you, but you might not have to actually buy the bracket. At least that was the case for one person um, on Reddit here where they, they uploaded this image of them emailing back and forth support with um, EK and the EK representative says they can offer you a free AM4 upgrade um, if you're willing to pay for shipping. So your mileage may vary when you contact e EK for that uh, AM4 upgrade. They may offer just you pay shipping or they may have you pay for the kit too. Um, either way, it's it's not going to be an overly expensive upgrade regardless, especially if they're offering it free to uh, certain people if they are... Um, if they're requesting that. So regardless, you may end up having to pay a few dollars here and there, depending on who your cooling uh, vendor is of choice. But it looks like for most reputable and, and most vendors in general, there is an upgrade path for you to continue using your existing cooler without having to buy a brand new cooler. However, some manufacturers have done a better job getting those in place. Um, at launch for Ryzen, and it looks like others, like Corsair, looks like it might be one where you may have to sit tight if you're hoping to use your existing coolers on your new Ryzen platform. 
Well, hopefully this was at least informative for you guys, and hopefully it helps some of you out there looking for your cooling solutions for your new Ryzen builds as those uh, pre-orders and in-store purchases start to roll out in early March. Give me a like if you enjoy this type of content, this type of informative thing. Um, share, comment down below if you have further information for me because that'll be helpful to anybody that's watching this video down the road. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram, at Hoosier Hardware. I'm Shane from Hoosier Hardware. I'm going to let YouTube do its thing with queuing up the video, and I will see you guys in the next video.